Can you like explain lust again? Like that that's a sin? Yeah, lust. If you undress people with your eyes and you start have, thinking about having sex with them, that's a sin in the Bible. The Bible says there is no temptation that has overtaken you, but that which is common to man. But God is faithful who will not allow you to be tempted beyond what you're able. But with temptation, he will also make a way of escape that you may be able to bear it. So when you repent and turn to Jesus and receive the Holy Spirit, you have a way of escape every single time. You don't have to give into that lust. When you see a guy that you want to lust after, you take captive those thoughts and you make them obedient to Christ. You say God's word in your head. You think on things that are lovely and pure and just. Okay, you think on things that are good. God's word, those crosses aren't helping anybody. It's not helping anybody. No. How's it not helping me? Because most people who wear a cross around their neck that I've seen on the boardwalk tonight, they're living in sin. Yeah, most They're cursing, they're drunking, they're getting drunk. How do you know? Hi. I didn't say you were. I'm just making a point. I'm making a point. See? Right? I'm making a point. You're slurring a little bit. You're slurring. Not slurring at all. Is he slurring a little bit? Tiny bit. Well, that might be slurring. Talks. We don't know him. But he's I hiding something behind church. his back. I preach for my church. Doesn't matter. Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, shall I enter the kingdom of heaven. But he who does the will of my Father in heaven. Many will say unto him that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in your name? Have we not done many wonders in your name? Have we not done all this stuff in your name? He's going to say, depart from me. I never knew you, you worker of iniquity. So many pastors, so many believers in Jesus are headed to hell. You know why? Because they love their sin and they won't give their sin I'm up not, for Jesus. I've devoted my life to Christ. The so you think I'm going to hell? Can I ask if you, you continue in sin, I just tell you the truth because I love I you. I know I devoted my life to Christ. I'm not continuing in sin, though, but I feel like if you're, a, if you're a good person, you should not go to hell. It doesn't say that anywhere in the Bible. The Bible says in 1 John 2... The Bible, I'm just, I'm just trying to answer his question. The Bible says in 1 John 2, 3, 4, by this we know that we know him, if we keep his commandments. He that says he knows him and does not keep his commandments is a liar, and the truth is not in him. If you're not keeping the commandments of God, you don't know Jesus. You don't God know God. all for sins. When you repent and turn from yes. them and give them up. Yes. And give them up. For my sins. Are you still doing them? No. I think I'm you're lying to me. Church, church, church. I think I'm you're lying, lying to me. Church, 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 Are you still getting drunk? Church, church, church. What? Are you still no, getting, drunk? getting drunk? Do you still get high? No. I've Do you still have sex drunk. outside of marriage? No. Do you still lust after, lust after girls? No. I, I think you're lying to me. Yeah, you think I'm lying. Yeah, I think you're lying to me. you judge me. You're not God. You can't judge me. You have a beer bong in your hand. I won this. I have not used this. How do you, you know, know what? A born again Christian would throw that in the garbage. You're wasting my time. I'm not wasting Stop time. mocking me. Who are you to judge me? I'm judging you by your fruit, you You're fake Christian. You're a fake Christian. I'm not a fake Christian. You fake Christian, you How better repent. Christian? You're a fake Christian. I'm not a fake Christian. You're on your way to hell How and you need you to repent. That? How dare you call me? This is what Jesus did to the hypocrites. You fake Christian, I'm repent. Not a fake Christian. Repent. I'm not. Just call me a fake Christian. You're a fake Christian, you need to repent and turn to Christ. I'm a fake Christian. I'm, I'm doing it out of love. I know. Out of love. God would never Jesus judge rebuked. Somebody. He rebuked the fake Christian. He rebuked the hypocrites in the Bible. And that's you. You this need to repent. Judging me. Yeah. I'm judging you. I'm God judging you by your fruit. God you said you judge me? Yo, yeah, of God course. Would never judge someone. It's hypocritical judgment God's against. John 7 24 says, A righteous man judges all things, but he himself is judge of no man. God would so never listen. judge someone. There's a whole book in the Bible called Judges. If you want people There's to a day called God, Judgment Day. Listen, if you want people to believe in God, how are you going to... I don't want people to believe in the God you follow. You follow a fake Jesus. I follow a fake Jesus. A fake Jesus who lets you carry around a beer bong. Throw that in the garbage if you're a real Christian. See that trash can? Prove to me you're real. Throw it away. And don't go get it, hypocrite. I, I like no what way. you're saying. No way. No, he's going to get it. He'll get it. Watch. He'll get it later. I'm sorry, but that's what Jesus did to the hypocrites. Now what? He did that to the Pharisees. Now what? When you read the Bible. Now what? I'm glad you did. Now you need to repent of all your sin. I have repented of my sins. Do any of you, are any of you his friends? They don't know Jesus, Does he I've still asked. get drunk? No. Does he still get drunk? Does he still get drunk? Yo, yo, I've repented my sins. All those threes tonight? I, yes, I yeah, saw that. Yeah, I asked yeah, you yeah. Still lust? Time, I asked him to come to church with me every Wednesday and Sunday for my youth group. Why did you have a beer bong? I had it because he won it and he asked me to hold it. So you just threw away his beer bong and yes. he's not mad? Yes. Well, you need, I don't believe, I'm not, I don't believe you're telling me the truth. Well, he's not mad because he's trying to prove his point because you don't believe him. Yeah. I don't believe that you're telling me the truth. I'm telling you the truth. Because you were smiling and smirking. I was never smiling. I'm, you were. I saw you smirk at them. 
I saw you smirk a few times. Because he just. So I'm he just. I'm judging you by your fruit. I'm judging you by your fruit. God and says that's not what to I'm saying. Never says that in the Bible. Yes, it does. The Bible says, "Don't judge hypocritically." So if I was sitting here and telling you not to get drunk, if I was holding a beer bong and telling you to throw that away, I would be a hypocrite. I'd be a hypocrite because I'm doing the same. No, no judgment is good because it shows people that they're in going the wrong direction. There's a day called Judgment Day, and God's going to judge people for the sin in their life. I know. I'm judgment ready. Day's coming. You guys need to be ready. God's coming. Jesus rapture. The rapture is coming. And I know that for sure. The preacher of rapture is false. He is. It's he false. Is it's a false teaching. You're telling me the rapture is false? No, there's going to be a time that Jesus comes back. Yes. The pre-trib is false. I'll raise the pre-trib. I'm, I will raise heaven because I've repented of my sins. Are you living holy? Yes. You have no known sin in your life right now. Everybody has sin in their life. No. We're not perfect. No. You're telling the me Bible says, The Bible says to be Listen, perfect. You're doing all the talking. Are you I'm perfect? giving you God's Wait, word. Are you perfect? All you're doing is giving me opinions. I'm giving you Bible verses. You are you perfect? Yes, in Christ. You're perfect? In Christ. Nobody's perfect in except Christ. for Jesus. I no longer Nobody's live in sin. Perfect except for I'm Jesus. not living in sin right now. Are you calling yourself What's Jesus? You I'm not Jesus. Yes. I'm living a holy life. Nobody's perfect except for Jesus. The and Bible says, "Be ye perfect, yeah. just, as your heavenly Father perfect. is in heaven." Nobody's perfect. Is perfect except for Jesus. So you're telling me you're still a sinner? Are you still a sinner? Everybody's a sinner. No. Yes. All have yes. sinned. Past tense. All have sinned. All have sinned. Past tense. Yes. Now so you you're to be living God. holy. You ha how, how long has it been since you lied? Slut me out. Probably ten years. I don't believe that. So do you not see? You haven't lied to If you. I was telling you, I have a right to not believe you. Though. That's okay. I'm telling you the truth. I've been born again. Do you not sin? You've been born again. I have. I'm able to I've sin. Been born again. Oh, I have the free will to sin. We all have I've the free sinned. Will to sin. I've sinned in the past. I could sin in the future, but right now I'm living a holy life in Christ. And I'm not your example. Your example is Jesus, because Jesus says to go and sin no more. I'm not Jesus. And Jesus said to the woman caught in adultery, when he forgave her, he said, go and sin no more. I'm not your example. Jesus is the example. He's our example. Right? Would you agree with that? Jesus is our example. He's holy. He's holy. But he also tells us to be ye holy, even as your heavenly Father in heaven is holy. Yeah, by man, I mean like mankind. I have a question. Sure. It's about Adam and Eve. Answer yes. it. I can so, give you an answer too. You sure. An answer. Go ahead. Yeah. So, however the story goes, because I know there are a lot of different creation stories and the Garden of Eden stories. Yeah. Right. There's one creation story. Well, no. One. There's only one. Genesis 1 and 2, when you read it back to back, it's like, it's like when you read a contract, it gives you the front of it, and then you get into depth in the second one. There's only one creation story. But, so anyways, I'm just trying to correct you. And, okay. The falsities. No, go ahead, go ahead. And do you agree of the terms that, so how they say is that Eve ate... Eve ate the apple first, right? She ate the and then Adam yeah. fell into her peer, her peer pressure, but was actually the snake. Bro, um, no, he's, he's, he's yeah. Yeah. Serpent deceived Adam, yeah. Uh, Eve, yeah. In the last shot, yeah. that light Eve was bright in your eyes, wasn't it? Fucked me up. So I'm coming back during the day, I'm making all 15. Like I'm taking all Mankind got, men, men, no. Men got consequences too. Everybody got consequences. Yeah. Yeah, but I think those women got the worst. We have to labor and toil in the sweat of the, the day. That's, that's the consequences of, of, of mankind. Everything we do, the things that we do when we're out there and we're working and sweating and, and brewing our bodies. But come so, to that is free will. Yeah, of course. I'm glad to hear you believe in free will. Without free so will. That means you're not a Calvinist, at yeah, least. Without free will, we're all mindless robots. That's it. Yes, I agree with that too. But we're not all sinners. Once you're born again, you become holy. How do you become the, the blood of Jesus Christ, the blood of Jesus Christ washes away all of your sin. And in that moment, you become holy. And then he tells us to go and sin no more. It's a lie of the church to say that born again believers are also sinners. No, if you look it up in the Greek, a sinner is someone who has not been saved. He's unholy. He's unrighteous. The Bible says in Psalms 1, it says, Blessed are the man who walks not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor stands in the path of sinners, nor sits in the seat of the scornful. 
but his delight is in the law of the Lord, and his law he meditates day and night. He shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that brings forth its fruit in season, and it shall not wither. And whatever he does shall prosper. The ungodly are not so. So let's say like I'm the most not perfect person. But you can be in Christ. You can be in Christ. In Christ you can be. A nice person, do not a great person, all this stuff, but I, but I do I'm listening. Sin and I lie. Am I going to hell? If you, if you continue on in that sin, yeah. If you continue on in that sin. You could be the best person ever, but I, but you lie in the slightest bit, you're still going to hell. You need to repent and turn back to Christ. So, yes. You're in disobedience to God, of course. You're in disobedience. He chastises those he loves. So if you sin, if, not when, the Bible says if we sin. In 1 John 2, 1, it says if we sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ the righteous, who is the propitiation for our sins, and not for ours only, but also for the whole world. So you turn to Jesus in faith. He's telling you you need to be perfect in the eyes of God. God knows everybody's not perfect. No, don't listen to him. Don't listen to him. Do you know anybody that's perfect? No. Jesus was perfect. Do you know anybody that's perfect? This guy in Christ. Jesus is perfect. That's it. Uh, Jesus is the only person that is perfect. I don't need you to show You me. don't want to read the Bible. I read I'm going to call you morning. out on your fake Christianity read if you don't read. I read the Bible every morning. Tell don't me what that verse says. Tell me what that verse says. Do not talk to me. Tell me what that verse says. Therefore you shall be perfect, just as your Father in heaven is perfect. Morally perfect. Morally right. Morally perfect. Morally. You need a rebuke. You need a rebuke. We can be through Jesus. Yes, we do. Free will means we can do whatever we want. God knows we should make the right decision. We repent. Confess and forsaken. God shows us mercy. The Bible doesn't say that. The Bible doesn't say that. Everybody is going to make mistakes. It doesn't say that. Everybody yeah, knows. Supposed to not willfully. I give you Bible verse Everybody after Bible perfect. verse. So he no. thinks we're perfect. Exactly. Once you repent and turn to Christ. Okay, so, yeah, what he's sin? Not, he's not saying, what can he's I ask you? What sin? Christ, we're not perfect, what not sin can't Jesus wash away? He can wash away any sin. Yeah. Yes. That, in that moment, are you? Everybody's not perfect. No, in that moment, are you perfect? What? Are what? you perfect then by the blood of Jesus? No. He's saying no. After you repent and turn to Christ. After you repent and turn to Jesus. I know, but I'm saying. What blood? What sin can Jesus? Other than Jesus. You're trying to hold on to something in your life, some kind of sin. You are. You're holding on to some sin somewhere. And right now, it's like I'm breaking up that ground in your heart. And you're like, I don't want to let go of that sin in my life. I want to hold on to it. That's what's happening to you right now. There's a battle like Paul talks about in Romans 7. You're having a battle right now. You're you want to do the things that are good, but you can't. People, you're arguing with people to, to like have them follow Jesus Christ. I'm showing you the truth through God's word. You gave me not one Bible verse. I think I'm going to heaven. Sorry. Said, it's through Jesus. What's up? That's my favorite Bible verse. We can do all things through Christ who strengthen us. Yes. That includes go and sin no more. I know. I'll shake your hand. Are you, are you, I can't shake your hand. I don't think you're born again. I am 100% born again. I don't think you are. No, but the point is... Do I go to church every Wednesday? That doesn't save you. I can't be a good person. Going to church doesn't save you. Catholics go to church. Yes, Catholics go to church. I'm not Mormons go to church. Jehovah's Witnesses go to church. I'm a born again Christian. Or whatever. And then you're good for them. What are you? But you were carrying a beer bottle. Your friend just shook his head. I don't know. Oh, I thought you guys were friends. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I saw. I thought you were a friend of his. Okay. Are you a born again Christian? I'm born again. Saved. No longer living in sin. Once you repent and turn to Christ, you give up all your sin in your life. All of it. You can't hold on to any of it. You need to be doing everything you know you should be and not doing anything you know you shouldn't be. In Christ. In Jesus. Yeah. You receive the Holy Spirit. You receive the Holy Spirit of God. No. He's saying... You can sin, but the Holy Spirit is what's you repent. Yeah, right. No, I never. Oh, oh, right? oh, oh, I never said you can't sin. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. You can't sin. You shouldn't sin you anymore. Sin. Yeah, no, Everybody sins. Sin. Well, there's a difference no. between you sinning and willfully sin. Yes, yes. And every time you repent, you, know. you become perfect again. Yeah, you but can. everybody sins. Yeah. Other than Jesus, everybody sins. He, is, he doesn't deny it. I have sinned in the past. I could sin in the future. Right and now, I'm living holy. Yes. Yeah. I have no known sin in my life. No. No. Jesus said to go and sin no more. I've sinned in the past, I can sin in the future, but right now I've been living holy. I don't sin anymore well, in Christ. Before. I have before, yes. Everybody but Jesus. But I've been forgiven. I've been yes. forgiven. And now I walk in newness of life. Yeah. You guys are arguing on the same topic. Yeah. I've been born again, washed by the blood of Jesus. 
and now right now I'm living a holy life. Holiness, in a sense, means you're perfect. You are perfect. Yes. Morally perfect. You're no longer lying, you're no longer stealing, well, you've no longer before. lusting, yeah, in the past. If you, if you were paying, I haven't lied in 10 years, that, probably 10 years. Right. Haven't stolen in probably 10 years. Yeah. Haven't looked with lust in probably 10 years. If you were, uh, I haven't watched porn in probably more than 10 years. Yeah. Uh, haven't gotten uh, drunk in probably 10 years. Okay, I don't live in sin, I don't practice sin anymore. I'm a new creation in Christ. Jesus set me free. And if I was saying these things, I'd be a liar right now. I know what Jesus did in my life. I know what he did. He saved me from my sin. He didn't just save me from hell. He saved me from sin. Because if you're not saved from sin now, you're still on your way to hell, even if you believe in Jesus. Even if you believe in Jesus. If you sin tomorrow, and then you repent for that sin. You can be forgiven. Would you be perfect again after you repent? Yes. So that's exactly but you don't. Yeah, it's you but you don't. Thing. It's just shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? Well, yeah, no, yeah. certainly not. Yeah. You can't just sin and yeah. repent every time after you sin. No, no. Yeah, that's yeah. fake. That fake Christianity. Yeah, that's yeah, that's fake Christianity no, yeah, for sure. I'm saying that's where you guys are yeah. on the same thing. Because you're saying everyone sins. You're saying everyone sins. You're saying yeah. So you guys are arguing for the same thing. Good point. <laughs> you were. Okay. So you're living holy. You're no longer a sinner. Okay, because when we first talked, you said everybody's a sinner. But I'm glad you changed your mind. At one point, I'm glad you changed your mind. Because everybody has sinned. Everybody has sinned past well, tense. Let's say Romans, sins, they're no longer a sinner. Yes, they're washed clean of, the, of their sin through Jesus Christ. Yes. And now they go and sin no more. Yes. They're living a holy life in Christ. Yes. If they sin, not when, they repent and, and believe. So you don't sin it every day. I'm sorry, you repent and confess and forsake yourself. You don't sin it every day. You don't even sin every week. Okay? The Bible says that God always gives us a way out of temptation. So when that, when you want to lust after someone, when you look, want to go and check out that girl's rear end and start thinking things you shouldn't in your mind and dressing them, yeah, you pray, you think about God's word, you turn your eyes, you don't look at those things. You, I should not put my eyes upon any wicked thing. You know what I mean? So you got to guard your eyes and your mind and live holy. We can do it all. We can do all things through Christ. We can do it through Jesus. We can live a holy... All things through... Christ who strengthens, strengthens us. Yeah. It's not in my own strength. It's not in our own strength. It's through Jesus. I can't do it on my own. You can't do it on your own. No, I can't. Only through Christ. So I think we're sort of on the same page. We are on the same page. I had to give you a strong rebuke there because you were holding a beer bomb. A true born again Christian would, would burn it, would throw it away. Because let me get, ask you a question. Okay? You said you're a born again Christian. If someone from your church so showed, saw you, your pastor saw you walking around with that beer ball, what do you think they would think? I'm not a good no, 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 my no. Pastor. He would think bad things, but I'm not. A, I'm on a new church. My old pastor. No, no, no. Okay, mistreated. your your pastor now. I mean, my pastor now. If he'd be okay with seeing you with a beer ball, then you see why I rebuked you. I I understand that. Okay, okay. It was out of love. Yes. It was out of love. Yeah. All right. It was out of love. Yes. Of All course. out of love. Okay, praise God. Amen. Amen. Any other questions? Let's do a quick prayer. Is that okay with you? Sure. 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 Do you want to do the prayer? Do you want me to? You can do it. Go ahead. Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you for this eye opening experience on the boardwalk, even though I wasn't expecting it. I thank you for. Amen. Opening my eyes on what I've been blinded by this whole time. Even though I was against it at first, I thank you for re reminding me of your love, your great power. Amen. And what you're uh, capable of. So I just thank you for bringing me closer to you, even though I wasn't intending enough on this vacation. Amen, Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Okay, brother. I can call you brother. All right? I, I do res I respect, I respect you. We just reconcile. Reconciled. Okay? I do respect you. And it's not because of me, it's because of the Holy Spirit. 
Okay. I do respect you. There's some things that I don't agree with, but I And I had a great conversations with you. Great conversations. Exactly. Okay? Great Me conversations. Too. Me too. I can't wait to watch them. Okay. Yeah, I, like I said, oh, I don't know. Oh, okay. It takes a while. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah, you uh, you better preach on YouTube. Yeah, it's a small channel. I have Do you have small. to edit it and stuff? Yeah, it takes a while. Yeah, that's a tough shirt, bro. Man in the bucket hat. It's a tough shirt. Thank you. I'll buy it off you for 10 bucks. No. <clears throat> no, thank you. Oh, thank you for your time. Yeah, you. hey. On YouTube? You got, yeah, you better preach. You can just type all one word if you want. You better preach or se separate it. You better preach. Whatever you want to do. What do you do on like a day-to-day -day basis? Like what's your daily? I have a, I'm a landscaper and I also have a... Uh, you look like a landscaper. Yeah, I, I'm a landscape. <laughs> what is that? I am older. I get it. Yeah. Sun, da no, sun no, damage. Even my, even my friend, yeah. he owns a landscaping business. He's 19. Yeah. Which one? I'm just saying, like, I could like see you being a landscaper, yeah. like that ass. So, oh yeah. Either landscaper yeah. or construction. Right? Yeah, like, landscaper. Uh, I also have a. Uh, uh, another business I've had for about almost 20 years now. It's Your own business? Inter internet marketing. Yeah, they're both my own businesses. Yeah. Oh, but that's, so, so you own a yes. landscaping? How yeah. Um, it's been seven years now, and my other business, probably almost 20 years. Around here? Uh, no, I'm from Pennsylvania. In Bethlehem. Business? What's that? Metal business, you said? Uh, oh, no, no, no. Internet marketing. Oh, okay. My first are business. To, uh, um, are you closer to a fucking Pittsburgh? Okay. No, Pittsburgh is five hours away. I'm closer to her. I'm closer to her. I'm probably like 40 minutes from her. Yeah. Yeah. I'm about an hour and a half from Philly um, and about two hours from New York City. Yeah. But hey, great conversations with you guys. And I'm so glad that the Lord worked on you tonight, okay? All right? I'm so glad for that. Have a good night. All right, you too. Nice to meet you. Hey, God bless you guys. Amen. It was great talks. Great talks. Nice to meet you guys. Amen. You too as well. You as well. Hey, you too. Yeah, yeah. It was really nice talking to you. Yeah. Can you? Can, night, I, can you? Let me. Let me give you something here. I have it. I have it. Oh, you got it. Okay. All right. All right. You got one. All right. All right. Okay. All right, guys. Turn to Jesus. All right. Only Jesus. Many people pray to God, but God not here. They're still a rebel towards Him. They're still in their sin. They're not willing to give up their sin. They want their sin and they want God to. I love Jay. God wants us to be separated. Whatever it may be, it could be false religion, it could be anything. We humble ourselves and give, up, give our life to Christ. And we choose to follow Him. We read His words and follow what He says and do what He says. We're obedient to what He says. Then we can have assurance that we are saved. You know, and we delight in that. You know, the fact that He is to us. We, we, we love God. But not burdens, not grievances. And that's how we can examine ourselves whether we're truly Christians or not. So it's by uh, how, we're, how we're conducting our life on a daily basis. Amen. You guys are friends? Okay. How long ago did that happen? I've been going to church all my life, but I've been doing this before that. I would say around my. Uh, I'm, I'm 17 now, but I'd say around 15, I had an eye-awakening experience on a group retreat. I was out there, and I realized that I get a sin on my life because I thought, I thought I'd been going to church, and like going to church means you're close with God and all that. But in reality, that doesn't mean you're close with God because you can still sin. People, people that go to church, they can be as bad as people that don't go to church. They can sin just as much. <laughs> Going to church don't save you. It doesn't mean anything. You need to be Amen. born again. People are saying just as bad as people that don't go to church. Yeah. Absolutely. It's a very sad thing. Yes, so, yes. I just had a great conversation with him, which was eye opening. I was arguing with him at first, but I realized why, why am I arguing? <laughs> Amen. Amen. And that's the Holy Spirit working on you. It is. Glory to God. Glory to God. 
I got it, Justin. I got it. I got it. Justin. Oh my God. When you, when you get home, when you, you got a Bible at home? Oh, you have I have plenty of Bibles. You go to the Gospel of Mark, look up Mark 8. Oh. 34 through 37, where Jesus says, I'm going to write down. Three, two, one. Oh, you go once, and then you go twice.